Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a couple of methods that you can use to track referral sources in Pipedrive. This is really useful for evaluating different marketing efforts that you do if you want to track where are you getting deals and leads from, maybe Google or your website or Facebook, things like that, or referral sources such as people and contacts of yours who refer you business if you want to track those referrals for any reason. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like more one-on-one -on -one help with setting up your Pipedrive account, training your team, and automating parts of your sales process, then check out the link in the details below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. So let's get into this video, and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can track referral sources. The first is we can use a custom field here on the deal. I've actually got two that I'm going to show you. One is a custom field which allows you to link a contact to a deal, and another is a custom field which allows me to set up a drop-down menu that I can use to pick different referral sources. Now, obviously, you will probably only use one of these methods. I just have these two fields here just for the purpose of this demonstration. So when you set up your custom field, if I start a new one here and I add a new field, so you can call this referral, or referral source or whatever you decide. And then the two fields that I've shown you are a single option field. This is where you can create a simple drop down menu or there is the person field. And that allows you to link an existing contact in the system. So you can use either of these methods. Now I would probably say this is the way I would recommend most people track referrals in Pipedrive. The difference between these two fields is one of them allows you to link to an existing contact in the system. So I can type the name of a person, like Tim Cook, and I can actually link to that contact. And you can see if I, if I click that link, it takes me to that person, and I can see all deals related to that contact, including this Holly McLean deal that I was just on here. So that's a really nice way that I can link my deals to specific people. I can see those deals linked on, the, on that contact as well. I would use that method if your main source of deals and leads is people. You could actually, I've, I've used, an, used a contact field here, you could also use an organization field. If it's more companies that refer you business, it would work in a very similar way. Now, the other option is to create some kind of drop-down menu. This would be more appropriate if you want to track not just people, but also different sources or channels that leads and deals come from. For example, Google, Facebook, or your website. The downside of using this, if you are tracking individual people, is if I put, you know, John Smith in here, this is just a drop-down menu that I've filled in. It's not linking the deal to the contact in the same way that this, this person field is. So the two slightly different ways of doing it. They both allow you to track the source, but just have different ramifications. Now, whatever you decide, the benefit of setting it up like this is you can actually report in your dashboard on deals one broken down by source. So here in my reports, I've created a deal performance report and it's showing deals one last year. This is just my demo account, so I have some data from last year. I'm reporting on deal value on my y-axis and the one time on my x-axis. And then in my segment options here, I can segment by either my contact field or the, the referred by field. So I can pick either of those. Now this feature does require the professional subscription in order to be able to segment a report like this, but that is a really nice benefit of setting up your referrals like this using a field is that I can actually analyze my revenue broken down by source. One final note on that is make sure you set up that field at the deal level. So here on the details panel, I've put my referral fields here on the deal. You can create contact fields on the person or the organization, but if I do want to report on revenue in Pipedrive, I do need to have that field on the deal level. Now, even if you don't have the professional plan, I would still recommend using a referral field like this, either a contact or a custom field, because you can always export the data from Pipedrive and you could do that analysis in Excel. You've got the data, it's in the system, it just, you don't have the ability to do that report natively in Pipedrive, unless of course you upgrade. So there you have it, two very simple ways that we can track referrals in Pipedrive, really handy way of understanding your marketing and where deals and leads are coming from.
If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like more help with Pipedrive, setting up or optimizing your account, getting more out of the tool, and automating more of your sales process, then check out my master Pipedrive program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so that you can connect with me and get help and your questions answered anytime you need support with Pipedrive. Or you can book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me so that we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I can even conduct group training sessions. And you'll also get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and advanced topics compared to my YouTube videos. So if you really want to master Pipedrive, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.